Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know of some tips for low porosity hair. Uh, I personally have low porosity, fine, uh, medium density, and um, I've been trying to find out more about my porosity so I could know uh, how come some products sit on my hair and don't like actually penetrate and um so yeah so i was googling it this is not was not my idea but i mean it started off my idea i guess because i was just wondering why my hair products work better in the shower and i thought about hmm, maybe it's because they're warm from the heat like from the steam of the shower so it makes it penetrate better into my curls. So, um, yeah, so I looked for it on YouTube and there was this girl, uh, totally don't know if, uh, her name, I don't remember. Um, but I watched her video and she was giving tips for low porosity hair on how to retain moisture and, um, Okay, so she gave the tips of using warm water, not hot, which that's pretty much what I do, but I use really between warm and hot. Sometimes warm, sometimes in between warm and hot. Uh, hot is too hot. <laughs> so, okay. So she said when you're wetting your hair in the shower to like um, squeeze your hair gently, so that the water doesn't just roll off your hair and it actually gets saturated with the water. And I was like, wow, that's crazy because if it, um, I did that and my hair felt heavier. So it was actually, it really did work. It was more wet in the shower. So um, I squeezed it and then I uh, washed my hair with the uh, Shea Moisture Curl, uh, uh, coconut hibiscus shampoo sulfate shampoo sulfate free shampoo and I used that to wash my hair and then when I washed it out I squeezed my hair again and then um, I applied the same conditioner from that line the regular conditioner um, whew, I'm running out of breath um, so I applied that conditioner all over my hair and what I did, what she said, was to um, like push it in, like like this, <laughs> like press it in because our hair is resistant to that uh, product. So I did that and I pushed it, like I squeezed it in and I twisted my hair because these are all her tips. Okay, so I twisted my hair. I've done it before, but I never really thought about it. So I put, I twisted it and then I continued with washing my body and then after I washed out some of the conditioner and I left some of it in and once again squeezing my hair like in the back just like this with like claw hands gently and then um and then I applied the curl enhancing smoothie from the same line I wanted to use all the same products from the same line um, cause they tend to work really well when you put them together. Um, I have good luck when I use different products also, but I just felt like, yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so I did that. I put a little bit and I, um, got out of the shower and I used this tip that she said as well. And I got the curl enhancing smoothie and I put it in a bowl of warm water. The water I just got that was still coming from the shower before I turned it off. So I, um, I put the, the actual like, um, container in the bowl of water, not like took out the product, but yeah. So I, it warmed up and I applied it to my hair and I styled as usual. I, um, applied it all over my hair and my hair was still soaking wet, dripping wet, whatever. And um, I applied it all over my hair and then I used a wide tooth comb and I brushed it forwards 
and then I plopped and I air dried and these are my results they're pretty darn um, this morning they were like super curly but they're, they're still pretty darn curly and uh, yeah so I really think this defined my hair even more um, it looks more defined in person and I got good volume and um, oh and at night I after I plopped um, and air dried for a little while I pineappled my hair and went to bed and this is my result I woke up with my hair like this I just shuffled my curls at the root hey guys you're not gonna be able to see my face but these are my curls so I think I need to just cut like half an inch. So yeah, okay, so I really think those products worked, I mean those techniques worked amazingly more than a product itself because you don't want your product to just sit on your hair and not do anything. You want it to moisturize your hair and actually, like my hair is even really soft and like bouncy. And um, I don't know, I just really like the techniques. Um, so yes, maybe if you have low porosity hair, you can try these tips out. Um, and that's it. I didn't apply any gel or anything else because I wanted to just use those three products. Um, and yeah, I'm running out of breath. I'm going to go get some water. I'm 33 weeks pregnant, so uh, boy, do I run out of breath. <laughs> um, and these lights don't help the spring light. Okay. Well, I love you guys. Try these tips out. I know, um, my tips are helpful for people and it really makes me happy to, help you out with your curly hair or whatever um, I have tips and experience on. Um, I'm no professional or anything. I'm just showing my experience and what I do. Um, but yeah, so it worked worked really well. My hair's getting long, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, well, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.